It was a rough, rough childhood. Uh, my parents fought quite a bit. My mom suffered from depression. Um, heavily medicated most of her life. We, my sister and I basically took care of my mom while my dad was away. He was uh, gone quite a bit. Didn't have love in my life. Like I, I had nobody to look up to. I had nobody to uh, talk to about, you know, teenage stuff. It was like work, work very hard. And then on the weekends, it was, you know, drinking to forget. I really didn't think I was going to live past 30. I didn't, I didn't see a future whatsoever. Um, Demolition Derby was my way of saying, you know, I, I built this car in my own hands, and, and that was like um, maybe the only thing in my life that I could control, right? And then uh, when things went south, then I had my old friend that came in a brown bottle to fall back on. It was a typical Saturday, started at about noon, I had some wine in the fridge, drank that, drank whatever beer I had, went to the bar across the street. I closed the, the other bar within walking distance. Um, used to be train tracks and it's elevated and uh, was walking home. And I fell down, you know, the corrugated stairs, like uh, I guess probably a story and a half. Um, woke up on the side of the street halfway on the street, halfway on the curb. Didn't know what happened. I thought I got hit by a car. I was missing skin from my elbows, my, my shins and everything. So uh, about a block and a half ways, all the, I, I, I got home and basically passed out. And I woke up in the morning, my head was killing me. I'm looking at myself like, how did you let it get this far where my whole life revolved around alcohol, and, and then you pay for it the next day, and you don't have any money left, and it's all consuming, right? So I said, okay, enough is enough. There's got to be something else. So um, I was working part-time, and uh, the gentleman I was working with, his father came in on Tuesdays. So I started asking a few questions about um, Jesus and his life and his teachings and things. So it got to uh, a weekly discussion. So then the uh, discussion turned to like, you know, I'd like to have a confession. He says, no, we have the ability to talk one-on-one -on -one to God. And I go, oh, wow, that's, that's, that's pretty. So I just like talk to, talk to God one-on-one. -on -one. He said, yeah, just like, just like you're talking to your friend, you know. Confess what you've done wrong in the day and ask for forgiveness. And, and that next Sunday, I went to People's Church and accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. At basically, at the same time, um, I weighed 417 pounds. And uh, again, God worked his magnificence on me and brought me out of that because there was a point where I couldn't even put on my own socks because of my obesity. I was class three obese. So now that I have mobility back, I've been a mechanic my whole life. And basically I'm helping uh, people like fix their lawnmowers and stuff. I'm just trying to uh, extend a hand that was offered to me that brought me out of the mud. And I'm trying to offer my hand to others the same way it was offered to me from where I came from. I should have been dead, but only through his grace that I'm here and able to tell the story.